I was at the park riding my bike, minding my own business, and this jazz lady just jazzed right into me, and I bailed off my bike, and now my back hurts. It hurts really bad. I don't know what to do about it. Here are the stretch exercises Jess is going to do to help her back recover from the horrible incident that happened with the bike and the tap dancing. So she's going to start with a child's pose exercise. This will give her some relief across the low back. This is going to help to stretch out across her low back. So she's going to sit back and that'll help stretch through here, right? Help stretch the glutes a little bit as well. And she's just going to slowly ease into it. It's also going to depend on how sensitive or tender the area is. So she's just going to kind of soak it up, do some breathing and stretch it out through there. Then the next exercise, the next stretch that she's going to do is a figure four with support from the bench. So you can do this without a bench as well. Having the bench is going to allow you to have a little bit more freedom and flexibility with the movement. So she's going to lie on her back, find a little bit of core support, but then relax. She's going to cross her leg over. This is going to help stretch out into the glutes a little bit here. It's going to help open up the back of the hip and the low back. And she's applying a little bit of pressure from her hand there just to help pull into the stretch a little bit more. She could also get a little closer to the bench to get more range, a little further away, or even just drop her foot right onto the floor. She'll breathe into that, soak up the stretch a little bit. You never want to hold your breath through a stretch, especially if you're experiencing some tightness or pain. Then her last stretch, she's going to get into a half kneeling moon. So this one's going to require a little bit more control and stability, just being up off the floor. So in this half kneeling stance, she's going to make sure she's got good core tension. She's stacking her ribs over her hips. She's going to make sure she can breathe Then she's going to take a nice reach over. She's not going to hit me and I'm going to back away. And she's just going to soak into that stretch and really gently feel out what her body wants her to do there. This is going to help stretch that whole lateral line, getting into the hip flexor into the lats, even into that side of the low back. And she'll just take her time and hold for whatever feels comfortable for her and whatever gives her a little bit of a feeling of relief. And then she'll move on to the other side. Isn't she really good at stretching? Now that Jess has done some stretches and she's feeling a little bit freer around her hips and her low back and all that good stuff, she's going to move on to mobility work. So this is going to allow her to get some movement and get really aware of what her body's doing so she can start uh, loosening it up and removing some of that discomfort and stiffness. So we're going to start here with a sphinx pose. So she's going to drop down onto her elbows and she's going to be really mindful that she's not segmenting her spine as she tries to shorten it but she's trying to make sure she has good even movement through the spine. So there's still some core control, lots of shoulder stability. And then she's just going to feel that out and breathe into it to get good spinal mobility. This one can be a little bit uncomfortable and it's really easy to pinch into a chronic tight spot in the spine. So just be really aware that you do have that core control there and that you're not feeling a pinch into your back. So once she's mobilized here a little bit, she's going to go into her next exercise, which is going to be another exercise. She's going to go into... <laughs> another mobilization Yes. Another okay. Mobilization. Yeah. Okay. So from here, Jess is going to go into her supine adductor drops. We're going to have a little bit of windmill action going on here. So she's lying with good core stability, um, getting a good neutral spine so the pelvis isn't tilted one way or another. And she's going to slowly move just the leg bone, just the femur. And once she's done with that range of motion, she's actually going to roll her pelvis over. And then it's going to give her a nice stretch across the low back and even up into the lat. 
So we kind of work femur, then pelvis, then 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 femur, then pelvis, but she's gonna go way slower than I'm going because she is dealing with some discomfort, some pain, and with an injury, so you always wanna to listen to your body and meet it where it's at. So once she's worked through both sides a couple times and is feeling a little bit more comfortable moving, she's gonna go on to her last exercise, last mobility movement, and her last mobility drill is going to be a circular cat-cow with a special focus on the lumbar spine. So for her cat cow, she's actually gonna drop right to the elbows. This helps fix the thoracic spine, the upper back, and it's gonna allow her to get really great movement through the lumbar spine. Because she's experiencing tightness there, we wanna bring awareness and let the nervous system and her know that it's okay to get movement. She's really focused on what her core is doing. She's breathing through it and is really working comfortably through, through the range so that she can get more and more used to getting moving and get rid of some of that stiffness. She's working nice and slow, feeling out the full range. She'll be feeling nice and loosey-goosey. So now that Jess is feeling mobile, feeling a little more comfortable and free moving around, we're gonna start building some strength to prevent this same injury from recurring, building up a little bit of resilience in her body. So for this one, we're gonna do heel drops. So she's gonna lie on her back here. She's gonna get comfortable. We have a little bit of core tension, so she's got good support. If she was to feel her back tightening up, we would know this is too much and we could regress this, but she's really comfortable here. So gently, she's just gonna drop one heel down. And the goal is to make sure that the hips don't tilt, that the hips don't arch, um, and that her low back doesn't lift off the floor when she goes through this. So the name of the game here is control, stability, and to really listen to her body and what it's trying to say about this progression of movement she's doing. Nice, Jess. So the next exercise she's gonna go into is a glute bridge. This is a really great exercise. It helps us to find our stability and balance out the muscles that keep the pelvis stable. So here she's gonna check in that she has good alignment. She has a good neutral spine. She's got her heels firmly planted, toes are planted as well. And she just pops up trying to fully extend her hips, making sure she finds the glute connection with the core connection and is not feeling that the low back is trying to arch and take over. She's making sure the body's really working together well here. And then she's breathing through the movement because again, even though it's not a mobilization, timing the breath is a great way to tell your nervous system that this is a safe exercise. Then her third strength building exercise is going to be a bird dog. This one has a lot of moving parts to it. She's gonna be moving opposite arm, opposite leg. So this actually creates a rotational challenge that the spine has to stabilize against. So this is really gonna challenge her core. So again, she's gotta feel out her alignment, listen to her body, use her breath, and make sure she's good and stable. So we're gonna watch closely here. So this is good, we don't see any rotating in the hips. Good, she's reaching long instead of reaching up. When we reach up, we tend to tighten up the low back, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid here and making sure the weight is nice and even. Good, a nice squeeze on the glute, nice little squeeze into the shoulder, controlling a little shake coming out of it. It's good to find the challenge. We wanna see where we can push you so you can build that strength and then continue to build it up as you go. These are your recommended sets and reps for the segment that you just watched. If you have questions, make sure that you know that we're here for you. We wanna answer your questions. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and support us on Patreon if you really like the content that you're seeing. If you wanna find out more about us, follow some of our other social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We love you, we appreciate you, wash your hands, and we can't wait to see you next week. I don't care. Go. I am being.
Jess. I don't know how to be more Jess. 